Congratulations on making it to your mat. I'm Brett Larkin. Come and lie down on the floor. This is our hips and low back sequence. I love these postures any time of day, especially in the morning. Soles of feet to the floor. Press into the soles of the feet. Lift your hips up and lengthen your tailbone towards your heels. Take the feet a little wider than your mat and bring the knees in to touch. Place one hand on the heart and one hand on the belly. Press into your elbows and draw your shoulder blades closer together. Allow yourself three deep breaths. Just to center yourself, open your practice. Exhale all the air out. Inhale into the belly ribs and the low back. Exhale completely. Two more. Inhaling. Really sending your breath into the low back and hips before we even start moving. You can sigh out the mouth if you like. One more. Huge breath. Let it go. Bring your left foot to the center of the mat and your right ankle over the left thigh. So you're going to have a flexed foot on the right leg. For you, this may be enough. I invite you to pull or kind of scooch that left heel closer to your seat. Notice if you feel a stretch, allow the right knee to be heavy. If you don't feel a stretch, this is where you're going to reach behind the thigh. Now, if this causes you to lift your head off the ground, I want you to put a pillow, grab something from your couch, just put it behind your head so you're supported. And then slow your breathing down. It's really important here that your right foot and ankle is really over your thigh, not kind of here and on the thigh. This is where I see a lot of my students. Make sure you're really over the thigh. Shoulders and jaw relaxed, and pull the left thigh towards you. Gift yourself. A few breaths to just process, sink into your mat. everything as it is wherever you are and allow this right sole of foot to just drop to the outside of your mat mm, pull gently the right knee in towards you keep this really gentle and you can think of the hip your low back on the floor getting extra heavy couple breaths in this position I like to hold the outer ankle to slow your breathing down. And slowly coming back to center. Use your left arm to support you and switch the legs. Before you do, just notice how does this right side feel compared to the left? We've only been about three minutes here. Cross the left ankle over the right thigh. The foot can stay on the ground or pull in towards your chest. As soon as I pull in towards my chest, the shoulders often tense. So just take a moment to release any restriction in the body from the shoulders and the jaw. Think of moving your left knee away from you as you pull the right thigh in. outside of your mat now, just dropping this pretzel shape and holding the left knee 
calf or ankle. Just sensing into this stretch. Imagine your left knee is heavy, like a bowling ball. It's just moving towards your body, towards your chest, allowing that left hip to open. Last huge breath here. Press into the right forearm to slowly come back up. Take both soles of feet to the ground and then hands on your kneecap. So pull the knees in, inhale, send the knees away from you so that your arms straighten. Imagine trying to flatten a penny beneath your tailbone. Exhale, bend the elbows, pull the knees in towards the chest. Still try to flatten that penny. Inhale, send the knees away, arms straighten. Think of flattening that penny underneath your tailbone. Low back super long. Keep that as you exhale and pull the knees into the chest. This exercise is subtle, but so powerful in healing. Apanasana. On your breath, inhale. You're lengthening the low back as you send the knees away. As you breathe out, lengthening the low spine more as you pull the knees into the chest. Let that go, coming into pretzel legs. So take the left thigh over the right and hold your ankles. Flex both feet and pull your ankles towards your face and the floor. Three deep breaths here. If you're not feeling anything in the hips, the outer hips, send your feet higher towards the sky. Make sure the feet are flexed and really pull down. Hold the shin or ankle and pull. Nice, and then doing this on the other side. Switching it out, right thigh on top. Flex. If you want, you can rock a little side to side. Hug both knees into the chest. Come into happy baby, your version of that pose. That might look like holding just the inner thighs, the pinky toe, side of the foot, the ankles. It's all good. Rock really subtly side to side. I should barely be able to see you moving. Again, keep it subtle. You're widening the low back here. So I don't want you to think of you're moving all around. You're just feeling into the left side and the right side of the low back really gently widening and then gather the knees into the chest pull the shins into the chest roll to your left side slowly coming up to sit and closing our practice with one more hip stretch so coming to a cross-leg position inhaling the left arm up and over, nice lateral stretch, and then sending it over the left knee, reaching the arms forward, feeling into the low back, down into the hip. Press the floor away from you as you send your sitting bones into the mat. And then walking the arms forward to the other side. Make sure you're really on this diagonal. 
pressing the palms into the floor. Right sit bone anchors back. Challenge yourself to make your low back wider with your breath. How big can you breathe? Take the left hand over to the side of the body. This time, right arm is up and over for that lateral side stretch. Reach both arms up. Drag your prayer palms meet above the head down to the heart center. Just notice how your lower body feels, your low back, your hips. Thank yourself for your body, your willingness to show up from my heart to yours. Namaste. Your practice is complete.